Hi and welcome to the fourth video of our Modbus plus Python IoT training series. In the last video, we have covered two topics and the two topic was how to write integer values and how to read integer values from holding register of our Modbus TCP device. Now in this video, we are going to cover this two topic and the topic is how to read and write floating point values to holding register of our Modbus TCP IP device. So to read and write floating point values to our Modbus TCP IP device, we first required Modbus TCP IP device or simulated device. So that is why we are going to use Modbus slave. So as you can see, I have Modbus slave opened. Now we have to create a Modbus TCP IP device. So that is why we will go to connection and then we will press on connect. We want to create a Modbus TCP IP device at port number 502. So we will press OK and you can see our device is up and running. Now we will use mode scan to connect with our device. So we want to read holding register and length we want to read is 10. Now we will go to connection, connect, IP address, port number 502 and then we will press OK. So you can see our device is connected. Now what is the target of our video is we want to write floating point values and we want to read floating point values so we will go to our python notebook so to write floating point values into the modbus tcp ip device we require some functions from the library so that is why we have imported those functions and library in the first cell then after we are going to create our modbus tcp python client Okay, and then after we are going to connect with Modbus TCP device using our Python client and if connection is successful then we are going we are getting true as a message and if connection is not successful then we are getting false as a result. Okay, but the connection is established so we are getting true as a result. Now the main part we want to write floating point values to holding register. Okay, so that is why this three line is more important builder is equal to binary payload builder and here we have to set byte order and then after builder what we want to convert into binary it's 32 bit float and then we are creating our payload and then we are writing it okay so in this line we are going to specify what type of byte swapping is there in our payload okay and what is our payload so it is 32 bit float payload so this two line will convert our payload into proper binary format okay this payload is equal to builder dot build it will build our payload and then client dot write register we want to write at register holding register zero and what we want to write is our payload and our unit id or we can say slave id is one and skip encode is equal to true so this much we have to write to write floating point values into our holding register okay we have run this cell now you can see the response here now we can go to our mode scan and mode bus slave to see the result okay so you can see in the mode scan there is something inside the 40001 and 40002 and also same 40001 and 40002 here zero correspond to 40001 okay due to the mode scan mapping so here you can see the integer values but what we have write is floating point values and we want to see that floating point values so we will convert it to floating point values so you can see 70.5 which we have write from our python now we can go to display we can go to 32 bit float a little onion byte swap and also you can see 70.5 what we have write using our python client okay so we will convert this entire column into the floating point values okay now i want to write 50.5 into my holding register 2 or we can say holding register 40003 okay so here we will specify 2 instead of 0 we will specify 2 and we will again run this cell okay mode bus exception we will run this cell again you can see 50.5 50.5 is available now again i want to write 70 5.5 into the holding register 4 so holding register 4 so 75.5 will be available here and same will be available at holding register 40005 in more scan okay so we will run this cell again 75.5 is available 
now we want to write something at holding register 6 or we can say 40007 and we want to write is 100.2 okay we will run this cell again sorry we have write at holding register 4 or we can say 40005 now we want to write 105.2 at holding register 6 and then run as you can see 105.2 is available okay so this is how you can write floating point values to your holding register of your modbus tcp device now what we want to do is we want to read back those values in our python client so we will go back to our different notebook we will run this cell so we can import and uh, we can import the required libraries and functions in our python script we will create our python client we will try to connect with our modbus tcp device and now we want to read these values we want to read values from holding register 0 how much register we are going to read in a single shot so we will read two register because we are going to read floating point values and what will be the unit id unit id will be one so in the previous python notebook which is used to write floating point values to modbus tcp device here you can see we are going to build our payload okay so we are going to build our payload and then after we will write our payload to modbus tcp device but when you want to read something from these uh, modbus tcp device then you first read those values and then after you will convert those values into appropriate format okay so we know that we are going to read floating point values so first of all we are going to read those holding registers so we are going to read two holding register so this line will read holding register 0 and holding register 1 and then after it will convert or it will decode your holding register values into floating point and then it will print it here okay so first of all we will run this cell and then after we will run this cell so you can see value 70.5 is available at holding register 0 now we want to read holding register 2 so we will just change 0 to 2 and then we will run this cell again and you can see value 50.5 is available here now we want to read this holding register so holding register 4 so that is why we will convert 2 to 4 and then run again so you can see 100.1999 something okay same for holding register 6 so we will convert it to 6 and then we will run it so 105.199 something okay and now we are going to read holding register 8 so 8 and then okay 0, 0.0 so this is how you can read floating point values from holding register of your modbus tcp ip device so we have used two notebook in the first notebook we are going to import the necessary functions and libraries then we are creating our modbus tcp client in python then we are connecting with our modbus tcp ip device and then we are building our payload here our payload is 105.2 we have to build our payload using these three lines and then we are going to write our payload into the appropriate holding register okay now in this uh, notebook first of all we are going to import necessary functions and libraries then we are going to create our modbus tcp client in python then we are going to connect our python client to modbus tcp ip device then in the previous notebook we first build our payload and then we will write but in this notebook where we want to read those values we will first read those values and then we will convert into 32-bit float so that is the main difference between these two notebook when you want to write floating point values you have to convert using binary payload builder or you have to build your payload you can say and when you want to read floating point values then first you have you will read all those values and then after you will convert that into 32 bit float so if you open more scan and if you convert it to integer you can see some values okay so what this will do is this will read those two values 0 1 and 17037 and convert it to float okay so this is how it will work so i hope it is clear to you and if you have any question any doubt any concern regarding reading floating point values and writing floating point values to holding register of your modbus tcp device then you can comment me on this video or you can ask me on the telegram or you can directly mail me over this email okay 
so we will see you in the next video in the next video we are going to cover this two topic how to read and write double integer values to modbus tcp device okay okay so we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you